Kepke, now Campbell. Campbell fires it in, and Bowen scores this time! 22nd goal in a black and amber shirt, two days after his 22nd birthday. He's not going to be denied by the keeper this time. Much closer in, but it doesn't matter as long as it goes in. Jared Bowen makes it Hull City 1, Swansea City 1. Brilliant work from Grzycki and from Campbell. All came from that tackle from Stewart. And watch this build-up play. Not many options around, but Grzycki here gains all those yards. He's got men all around him. He threads a lovely ball into Campbell, who waits and waits some more, puts it into an area which isn't very defendable, despite the best efforts there of the Swansea man in the six-yard box. Grzycki has been a bit of a tormentor to the right-hand side of Swansea's defensive side all day. And Jared Bowen is now one goal behind Fraser Campbell. And Grimes, who has been brilliant with the ball at his feet, going forward, can't do it in the back lines. 1-1. All the momentum now seems to be with us. Grzycki once again placing that ball carefully and will look to pick his spot. Needs a better delivery than the last one. And it is a better delivery. Elphick! Oh, it's in again! He scored at that end before in a Villa shirt and it brought dismay, but it brings delirium this time for the Tigers fans. Comeback complete, Hull City 2, Swansea 1. The man at the back hasn't put a foot wrong all day and now he comes up with the goods to put the Tigers in front. Much better delivery from Grzycki, a towering header from Elphick is... Campbell mobile there, that's a question mark, doesn't get a touch, does he interfere with Mulder? It is a little bit of a talking point, but Mulder doesn't get there, he doesn't do his job, and Tommy Elphick with a brilliant header, look at the face Here of... Here he is again, Jared Bowen, Swansea have got to get back in shape, but Jared Bowen, it's Bowen still! Simply, simply fantastic from Jared Bowen! Swansea City have caved in the space of 10 minutes and it is all one-way traffic for the Tigers now. It's a good header away by Van der Horn, but Jared Bowen, he just turns and he's got one thing on his mind. Gets away from Grimes. He isn't going to be denied by the keeper this time. It's a cool-as-you-like finish again. And Jared Bowen... There is magic in that left foot of his. It is yet another brace for this man with bags of talent who is giving the Tigers three points going into Christmas. Riziki. That's a lovely through ball that could open up Preston's defence. Good cross, Irvine! Into the box. And right on the spot, it's Jackson Irvine who puts the Tigers in front. Not many chances in this game at all, but when an opening finally occurs for the Tigers inside the penalty area, we come up with the goods. Irvine gets up there, good header again. A lovely ball from Grzycki to fine Kings who just floats it in delicately. And the first piece of goalkeeping that Declan Rudd could potentially have had to do. He had no chance with that one. It was headed. Grzycki angles it in once more. And it will be turned in surely now. And Scott Duncan points to his watch. It says goal. And the Tigers are back in front. And I'm pretty sure Jackson Irvine has delivered again. It's Irvine's touch, it's over the line. And now the Tigers' perseverance and determination to keep on getting forward in the second half pays off. Dickie's feet. Curls one. Inside the penalty area, where is it going to drop? Bowen has it! And Bowen delivers! 
once again in the penalty area. 25 minutes gone and Leeds United, thousands of fans in Ellen Road are silenced. Didn't complete their work defensively here, Leeds. A good leap from Will Keane and Bowen's little intervention and then that cute little finish. And the Tigers, one defeat in ten games. Grzycki. And on he goes, Grzycki, into the box. Peacock foul with a save, but it's in again! Jared Bowen, goal-scoring bonanza. And it's the Tigers who are toppling the table toppers. And this afternoon gets better and better. A decent first save, but popping up inside the penalty area, it's that man again. Every oh, second, a little bit of a tumble, but that ball is still stuck to his foot, and Grzycki gets a touch. Oh, and it's gone in the back of the net, and Camille Grzycki finds the net. Bit of an unexpected finish, but it's slammed in by Camille Grzycki. Bit of a block there, and then all of a sudden it bounces nicely, and Camille Grzycki slams it into the back of the net. And those attacks that have been building from the Tigers in the last few minutes, the Tigers have come up trumps, and they've been able to put themselves in front here. The creator has become the goal scorer in the space of a couple of days. Camille Grzycki makes it Hull City 1, Bolton 0, as we're just about to reach the half-hour point. Working it in now for Evandro! That's the goal we were waiting for. Not many chances at the start of the second half. One is presented to Evandro, and he takes it graciously. Fantastic finish. And now the Tigers have a two-goal cushion against Bolton Wanderers. Space again inside the box. Bolton not following and marking up. So Evandro gets the chance and finds the net for the first time since the opening day. A half-decent touch met by a better finish. Now a much more comfortable position. 2-0 to the Tigers. Bit more pace to this one. Grzycki fancies it! Oh, yes, indeed! Double trouble from Camille Grzycki. And now the Tigers look well and truly out of sight. Again, Bolton stepping off. And the ball actually bounced before Elnwick there. And it still found the net. Two goals in a minute then. And Bolton's afternoon has turned into a catastrophic day. Terrell, Martin, 4-0! 2018 was a year to forget in front of goal for Chris Martin. And on the very first day of the new year, he comes up with the goods. Absolute delight for Chris Martin. He finally gets that first goal in a black and amber shirt. And it's the same scoreline as last season. 4-0. And Bolton have been crushed in the space of just seven second half minutes. And a well-worked goal as well. And that is the Chris Martin that fans of other clubs will have seen throughout the years getting the touch and then managing to catch the keeper out there by placing the ball into the opposite corner look what it means to his teammates he's been waiting a long time I think Henriksen enjoyed it maybe a little too much lovely one touch football between Terrell and Bowen Martin and now Bowen surely a fifth it is a fifth had to come eventually, Jarrod Bowen, our top scorer, in on the score sheet again. Getting the ball that standard way, just moving it inside on his left foot. And Bolton have fallen to pieces here. He's had to wait a while, but Jarrod Bowen finally gets involved. Swing this one in. It comes 
A little deflection nodded across. Dicko! Six! The strikers before today will have been hoping to get on and play so they could maybe score against one of the sides struggling in the league. Chris Martin and now Nua Dicko have come up with goals to make it 6 0. Jordi Device with the assist, and Nua Dicko hasn't waited what a long time here to get himself on the score sheet. There was one other game in the Football League at this rate that was 5 0. That was down in League Two at MK Dons, but now we're it winning. Here's Bowen. Bowen fancies it! And Jared Bowen delivers once again. He just cannot stop scoring, and the Tigers will go in at half time with a 1 0 lead. Pressure finally pays off, and the player of the month in the Championship just keeps on scoring. Trademark Bowen gets the ball on the edge, little touch, and Westwood will feel that he could have done so much better. The player of the month steps up and puts it away again, and Hull City are really in the driving seat now. We may just have to get used to that knee slide more and more in 2019 because Jarrah Bowen has another brace to his collection. Loves scoring in pairs and Hull City are now 2-0 up. He sends Westwood completely the wrong direction, didn't even look at Westwood, did he? Eyes on the ball. Can he bring this one down? Challenged by Hector. Campbell here. He's done really well, and he's made it 3-0. It was a matter of time, wasn't it? Purpose straight away from the bench, and he comes up with the final nail in Sheffield Wednesday's coffin. Hull City 3, Sheffield Wednesday 0. And it looks as though this one is done and dusted. Leaps well above Hector, and then he wins it better. He just wanted it more. And he drills it past Westwood, who will be disappointed that he's been beaten there. Sheffield Wednesday seem to stop and watch. And watch Campbell put it into the back of the net. Fraser Campbell looks though he has wasted no time in trying to catch up Jared Bowen. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.